Regardless of what political entities are in the federal government of St. Kitts and Nevis, the CCM-led Nevis Island administration will continue to work at improving relations between the people on both islands, according to Premier Mark Brantley of the Nevis Island administration. Speaking at his recently held press conference, Premier Brantley responded to an SKN Newsline query on possible relationship issues if PAM and CCM are unable to form the next federal government. At the core of the matter of relationship is the political will of the federal government to treat the NIA and the people of Nevis as equal citizens in their own country. And I am hopeful that whatever government is in Church Street, that they will understand that all the people of the country matter, not just some, all. And I'll tell you, we have this debate now about fair share and what Nevis should get. That debate would never have become necessary. If the person sitting in Church Street as the Prime Minister of the country understood that the people of Nevis were equal citizens in the Federation and that we deserve more than scraps from the table, we deserve a fair share of resources, a fair share of opportunities, and that the people of Nevis have a contribution to make to national development. And I get a little agitated when I have to speak to this because the media is so obvious. In a population our size, we really ought to seek to harness all of the talent that we have. The days of saying to the people of Nevis that your room is in the back of the bus, those days are over. And if that message causes some discomfort to some, then I apologize to them, but that is our new reality. And so whoever sits in Church Street is going to have to deal with the Nevis now that is saying that we will not sit at the back of the bus. We will be in the bus with you, developing the country with you, partnering with you, and we are entitled to and demand the full fruits of our citizenship. Because my passport says St. Kitts and Nevis, just like yours. And I don't think that right-thinking members of our society should have a difficulty with that. The unequal treatment of Nevis in regards to revenue derived from the Citizenship by Investment Program was among several issues that led to the current fracture of the Team Unity government. Glenn Bart reporting for SKN Newsline.